So if you've had any experience with music production over the past couple of years, you've probably heard of the FL Studio plugin called Gross Beat. And if you've never heard of the plugin, you've probably heard a couple of songs which it has been used in. There's this thing on FL called Gross Beat. 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 Which all the fans know we use. So I had a thought, if all of these producers can create hit songs by taking a loop and putting gross beats on it, how good of a beat could I create if I applied gross beats 10 or even 100 times? Would that make my beat 100 times better? Would Lil Pump hit me up wanting to do a verse on the beat? Probably not, but it should still make for a fun video, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah! So here we go, we're in FL Studio, it has been a really long time since I've used it, and I must say that I am not really missing it too much. Oof. Let's get down to business and let's start bringing in some loops. I feel like that seems to be the go-to thing for using gross beats, just using instrument loops rather than recording in your own. And I also don't really have anything set up in FL Studio at the moment, so loops are gonna have to do. So I'm just thinking that maybe I'll go for some keys or something like that. I'm actually liking the sound of this one, let's just go ahead and drag it in. Okay, that loop is gonna do, let's go ahead and bring in some gross beats. So obviously I think I'm gonna have to start off with a halftime gross beat because that is what everyone does. Now, where is halftime? I really haven't used Gross Beat for a really long time. I did actually use it for a bit when it was introduced in, I think it was FL Studio 11, but I haven't really used it since then. Half speed. There we go. I think I made a mistake that just sounds exactly the same. My loop is not complex enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this one aside for now and I'll find something else to work with. We'll go for some loop. Loop. Loopity loop. Loopity loop. <laughs> Yes, that one there is gonna work really well. Okay, so I should have enough loops to work with. Let's go back into FL Studio. That one's gonna be perfect, so we'll use this loop here. Might actually just need to rearrange it. Maybe I'll just cut that bit off there, and then we should be good to go. So I think it is time to go ahead and add on the grow speeds. There we go, we've got the half speed. Let's see how it's sounding. <laughs> oh, that was way too easy. I think what I'm gonna have to do next is Bring on more gross beats! But for this one, I'm just gonna try out some different settings. <laughs> I actually remember using these. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh gross, we'll get rid of that one. But apart from that, that is sounding good. Let's go ahead and bring on another gross beat. Oh yeah, that is starting to sound good. Maybe I should try one of these gates. No, nope, not yet. I think it is too early to be putting the gate on. But either way, I think it's actually sounding pretty good. It's sounding better than I expected. Let's bring on another one. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> that is ugly. Maybe I'll try out one of these arpeggio ones. Yeah. <laughs> Still sounding better than I was expecting. Um, so I wonder what we should put on next. Maybe a gross beat? <laughs> actually sounds pretty good. Let's bring on another one. Yep, that's still sounding good. Another one. That is sounding gross. How about another one? I think this time I might actually try drawing in my own one. That sounds terrible. I think I'll just stick with presets for now. So I'm starting to feel more creative, so I'm actually going to bring in a gross beat. <laughs> for this one, we're just going to turn down the mix so we get a bit of both. Yeah! I think that is sounding pretty good. So I've already put 10 gross beats onto the loop, now I'm going to bring it into a new mixer track so I can start adding on some more things. How about a gross beat? Wait, what's going on? That doesn't sound... That doesn't sound the same. Did I accidentally press something? Something sounds different. I'm just gonna go through and figure out what is causing it to sound so weird. It's like it is not lining up to the grid properly. Was it always like that? I can't remember. I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of that. So I'm starting to think that adding on so many gross beats don't really work that well together when they're all trying to work at the same time. So what I'm actually gonna do instead is I'm gonna bounce this down to its own loop. Just like that. And now I'll just drag this back in and we can start adding on more things from here. Wait a minute, does my metronome have a gross beat on it? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that is hilarious. I didn't know that was possible. Oh, that is so good. Gross speed on the metronome. I'm sure that will come in handy one day. Anyway, let's get back to our beat. I actually want to try out something. So I'm going to pitch this loop, which I just bounced in up one octave, and I'm going to put it back on the same channel that I just took it from. And so now it essentially has 20 or well, 18 gross beats on it. Let's go ahead and have a listen to what it sounds like. Hey, that actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> sounds like it's underwater. So I liked it so much that I've actually just bounced it out to a new sample. I might be able to use this somewhere else. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this other version, which I bounced out before, the one with only nine different gross beats. And now we can start adding on some more gross beats. Quite like that one. I think what I might actually do first is I'm going to bring in a reverb. I think that sounds a bit better. Everything was just starting to sound a bit dry. Anyway. Back to the gross beats. Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, I like that reverse part. We'll just put these back up because I don't like that. Yeah! More gross beats. Yeah! That's sounding cool. More gross beats, anyone? Yeah, that one's sounding good. Yeah, that is working. Let's bounce it out and just bring it back in and we can start adding on some more layers. So I think for this one, I'm actually going to pitch it up and I am going to bring on the first gross beat, which I added on, which was the half speed. Yeah. I think that is working. Let's add on some reverb. Oh yeah, that is sounding good. So how many different gross beats have I done so far? We've got nine there, got another eight there, and just another one. Oh no, that is not really that many, but I like how it is sounding right now, so I don't really want to mess around with it too much more. I'm going to bring in some more instruments and we can put some more gross beats onto those. So I quite like this little melody loop that I found before, so I'm just going to drag that in. I feel like that is sounding all right for now. I don't think it's going to sound like this afterwards, so it doesn't really matter that much. I just really like the sounds that are in the loop. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this new melody loop and I'm just going to try it out with these old channels, which have all of the gross beats on them already. Let's just see if we get anything that sounds good. <laughs> that is interesting. I don't really know if I like it or not. It sounds pretty cool either way. I think to really see how it sounds, I'm going to have to bounce it out. And then I'm just going to have to take this loop and I'm going to pitch it up an octave. So that still isn't really working. Let's try to put it through the other mixer track with all of the other gross beats on it. I mean, I quite like how that is sounding, but... I think I'm still going to have to bounce it out and pitch it up another octave. Oh yeah, that is sounding better. That actually sounds really interesting. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this sound and I'm going to put it through this other channel which just has the halftime gross beat on it. And let's just see how that sounds. I think it could work pretty well. Oh my god! <laughs> She works really well. I actually like that a whole lot more than the first loop that I made. I probably end up using both of them in the finished beats though. But damn, I was not expecting that. That sounds really good. So I think the next instrument which I'm going to be focusing on is going to be the drums. I think I'll start off with the hi-hats. I should actually be able to get some pretty interesting rhythms using gross speed on the drums. I don't actually think I've done that before. Let's give it a shot. So let's find us some hi-hats. That one sounds good. Let's bring it in. And now I'm just going to draw them into a very basic pattern. I don't need to get too complex because gross beat will take care of that. So I think the first gross beat I'm going to do is actually just going to be the half time one. But what I'm going to do is just pull down the dry wet. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping to do. Let's add on another one. What should we go for? Let's try to put on another half speed and do pretty much the exact same thing as before. There. Damn, this is sounding good. So I think I'm going to leave it for that hi-hat. Let's start bringing in some more samples. Maybe this one here. Let's just try putting it on the same channel as the other hi-hat. That seems to work pretty well. Let's bring in some more things. Maybe we'll go for this lo-fi sample. And I think I'm just going to start doing some of the rolls and I'm going to do this with a gross beat because <laughs> why not? So let's just find something that works. Oh, that would actually work pretty well. I know I could have just put the samples there by myself, but Blech. So next up, I think I might bring in this hi-hat loop and we'll try putting some gross beats onto this. Let's just try out one of these channels first. It nearly works, but it's just a bit too crazy. So because it is so fast, I think we'll just have to go for a half speed. 
That is working so perfectly. So I think that's gonna be it for all of the hi-hats for now. How many extra gross beats did that put on? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Still not that many. So now I think it's time to move on and start bringing in some other drums. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to use any gross beats on the kick and snare or anything like that. So let's find us some samples. I actually really like this kick, so we'll just use this one. Yeah! That works pretty well, let's find us a snare! So I think a really simple snare would work with this beat. I just need something really short and snappy. I'm actually gonna give this one here a try. Yes! That works perfectly! So I think I need a secondary snare, so we're just gonna pull this one in. And for this snare, I'm actually gonna try out putting some gross beats on it. Oh, perfect! Let's try pulling in this clap. Oh yeah! Now I feel like the only thing that is missing is the 808, so let's go ahead and bring one in. Ooh, that one there is sounding good, let's bring it in. So now I just need to plug in my MIDI keyboard and I can record in a bass line. That is dusty, I've been using my launch pad a lot more than my keyboard recently. Okay, now we should be ready to record in our 808 bass line. Let's do this! I think that's gonna do for the 808. I think I might just shorten the release time. That is better. So now quickly before I move on from the 808, I'm actually gonna put in some slide notes. So just put one there, turn on slide. Yeah, I think it is actually gonna do it for the slides. So just messing around with some other things. I just realized that my 808 is off key. Oops, rookie mistake. So I just need to drag that note up there and now it should be good. I can't really hear the difference on my headphones, so it might have sounded really bad for you, but whatever, it is fixed now. So I think I'm starting to get close to finishing off this beat, but one of the last things which I'm going to add in is just this organ sound here, and I'm just going to do a little melody. Let's go ahead and record it. That should do. So now I think I've pretty much done everything that I can. I think I've barely put grow speed on every single thing apart from the kick and snare as well as the 808, but apart from that, everything else has grow speed on it. I think the total amount was around 30, which is pretty good. I thought I'd end up using more than this, but then again, I also thought this video would be a disaster. I wasn't actually expecting the beat to sound this good. So anyway, as usual, I've gone ahead and added on all of the finishing touches off camera. So here it is, my beat where pretty much everything has grow speeds on it. Enjoy. <laughs> So there we go, I actually think that ended up sounding pretty good if I must say so myself. Still no message from Lil Pump though, maybe I didn't add on enough gross beats. But anyway, make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of this beat down in the comments. And if you liked any of the sounds which I used in this beat, I've left a link to a splice pack down in the description. This just has all of the samples and loops which I featured in this video. Now this is an affiliate link, so if you're not already signed up to Splice, but you decide to and you use my link, I will receive a small amount of commission, just thought I'll let you know. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I will see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Oh, be quiet. Why are you making so much noise?